Another funny story. I find it funny. Maybe it's not to you. When you were in the fourth grade. <laughs> Why did I know exactly where this was going? <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> when you were in the fourth grade, true or false, you got hit by a car. It's a true fact. We got the top down today. This is another episode of Takeout brought to you by Southern California BMW. And I'm excited about this new guest. This man is number 66 in your programs and number one in your hearts. Dan Feeney, social media star overnight with the mullet. This guy likes to eat, so he knows the good spots. And he recommended Nate's Corner, a little burrito action. Big Fiend, got your go. burrito. Let's go. Got the food. Perfect. I was getting hungry. Waiting on you forever. You got ketchup? Uh, yeah, I got some. There we go. You need some? I got a couple packs. <laughs> Came prepared. Sometimes they never throw it in there. <laughs> Bacon, sausage, ham, hash browns, eggs. I mean, it's everything a growing boy needs. So Dan, one of the things I wanted to bring up, and I know you're hungry, so this is on me. Where'd you get this idea of the mullet? Well, it's actually funny, isn't it? It is funny. Let's hear the real story. <laughs> so last year, Michael Badgley did the mullet. And I was in camp thing, and I was like, man, that's pretty cool. And I was thinking, I should grow mine out for next year's camp, you know, a little camaraderie thing. I'm like, let's get this thing juicy. Fast forward to camp. I come in, and I see Michael Badgley doesn't have a mullet. Oh. Oh, I'm like, wow. You're going to put this on me? I'm like, wow, this kid was just that scared right off the bat of my mullet. And he said, I don't even want to compete with you. People started calling you Bud Heavy. Are you embracing that? I love it. You love it. I know there was a ton of comments, uh, whether it was on Barstool page, check down. What's been like your favorite joke that someone's made about it? Because the internet is obviously undefeated. They're, uh... There was one, it was like, uh, if you didn't know what this guy did for a living, like, what do you think he would do? And like that stream of like what people said, I, I almost peed my pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was unreal. You think you'd ever cut that thing during the season? The mullet? No, yeah. not this season, no way. What about for like a half million dollars? Show me the cash. So, <laughs> you're playing center because I know you played guard before and you played tackle in college as well. But you're playing center now. If we came out here with all three quarterbacks mm -hmm. and they went under center, yep. put their hand right on your butt, are you able to tell who is who without seeing them? For sure, no Easy. doubt. I feel like Herbie and Tyrod would be very close, so that'd be a little hard, but stick. I could definitely tell. He gets way in there. He you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it a knuckle thing? Is it a, a softness of the hands thing? It's just how they approach it, you know? How okay. they kind of get in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also been interesting with Justin being the young guy that he is. Kind of, Kind of talk about what kind of excites you about the way Justin plays or the way he handles the huddle and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, man, he's he's awesome. Since like that first day he got here, you could always, you could tell that he was a special kid just from his talent alone, you know, seeing him in practice. I mean, he throws that ball and that thing's on a rope, you know, yeah. See, you can just feel it. But uh, one thing that I love is I'm, I'm seeing him grow as a quarterback each week. You know, every week he's doing things differently and ahead of like what you expect a rookie quarterback to do. And it's it's awesome, you know, how he can come in the huddle, control it, and he'll still crack a joke every once in a while to keep everybody, you know, calm, cool, and collected. So it's, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I started to see him kind of come out of his shell a little bit in the locker room, cracking jokes. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's smiling in there. He, yeah. He's a little goofy. He's goofy. He's definitely a goofy he's kid, He's goofy. Man. He's definitely a goofy kid. That's why he likes hanging out with the old lineman, I yeah. guess. How's Nate treating you over there? Good. 
She's falling apart a little bit, unfortunately. I don't even care. This is so good. I'm so glad they didn't give us napkins either. Or you'd just be all messy. I know. Another funny story that you've told me before. When you were in the fourth grade, true or false, you got hit by a car. It's a true fact. It's a true fact. Give, give the people a rundown. Give the, give the people a rundown. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> so in fourth grade, uh, we're doing some construction at the house. We're laying some concrete and stuff. So we got a bunch of trucks out front of, a, of our house, you know? So uh, my sister and a couple of our neighbors are across the street, you know, playing on a, one of our neighbor's jungle gym sets and trying to look both ways. I can't because there's trucks everywhere, you know, from laying concrete and stuff. And I just bolt into the street and uh, a nice SUV comes and wham, smacks me. Yeah. Right in the teeth, yeah. <laughs> how, 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 <laughs> this car sent you, what, like 40 feet? Yeah, probably 10, 15. Oof. Had like road rash all on my back. Now probably big, a concussion. How big was the dent you left in the truck, though? Yeah, that was a good size. Yeah. That was a good size. That's, my, that's, my dad took a picture of it. I was yeah, like, that's, that's pretty funny. And that's when you said, I'm a football player. At that moment, when I was in the air, <laughs> flailing around, I was like, wow, I'd be good at football. It's like that Ricky Bobby scene. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. <laughs> I'm flying through fly here. Right <laughs> All right, well, hey, Dan. Appreciate you coming out, hanging out, eating some food. Nate's Corner was incredible. Dan, any final words? Nah, man, thanks for having me. It's been fun. Hope you finish up that burrito. <laughs>